Hi, this is a video response for a request for help with navigation evokers for Unreal 5 uh, Target Platforms Mobile. So I just created a fresh project with those settings and everything is on default. So let's go ahead and get started. We see our nav mesh bounds volume there and that's the default one when you first load this uh, starter content map. And we'll just start by going to edit project settings and then we'll search for runtime and under runtime generation in the navigation section we'll just set that to fully dynamic and then we'll search for invoker and again under the navigation system where it says generate navigation only around invokers we'll just change that to true then we'll go back to the map and we'll see that the nav mesh has disappeared but the nav mesh bounds volume is still there and so now we're going to invoke uh, the nav mesh around the player character while he's in the nav mesh bounds volume. So that's the player start there. We'll just go to the player pawn blueprint. And then we'll just come up here to add. And we'll search for invoker. And we'll add a navigation invoker. And then because this map is really small, I'm just going to put this down to 100 for both so that we can see what's happening and then we'll just compile and save and then we'll go back to our map and now in order to see it we're going to start the game and we'll show navigation and we can see that the nav mesh is being invoked around the player and as he walks around it'll generate new nav mesh and remove it from where he's been and generate it where he's going Okay. And of course you would make this a little smoother by adjusting those uh, generation and removal values. You can also um, adjust your navigation tile and cell sizes. There's a different video for that that I'll put in the description below. But other than that, I think that's everything that you should need. If you have any other questions, let me know. But I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in some other videos.